quick intro because I have a 9 a.m. train to catch at London Euston where I'll be meeting up with my good friend Patrick who will be joining me as we head up to Wales and this for me is the first time ever going to Wales. I've never been to Wales. I mean quite frankly why would I? I realize I've traveled the world but never really explored my own backyard so this is a great opportunity for me to do just that. So we've both taken the Friday off and we'll spend the weekend up there and come back on the Sunday. And we're gonna head to a place called Land Did Know. That's where we'll set up our base of operations, if you will. But um, essentially we're gonna climb Snowdon, which is a mountain. I got no hiking experience whatsoever. So I don't see what could possibly go wrong. Patrick assures me he's climbed Ben Nevis in jeans and he's regular shoes. And he did that in a cave with a box of scraps. So I think if he can do it, I can most certainly do it. So without a further ado, let's get the show on the road. We began our journey at Euston Station where we hopped on a 10 a.m. train to Chester using the Avanti West Coast Railway service. This is the second time I've been on Avanti West Coast. The previous time was on a trip to Manchester, so that gives you an idea of the area covered by this train line. I would definitely recommend reserving seats in advance as it's typically cheaper and I want it to be as comfortable as possible on this two hour train ride. Now Snowdon is actually situated I believe in Lambiris, but I figured if we're gonna go to Wales, why not take in as much as we can, which is why we spent majority of our stay in Landidno, which is a nice seaside town. This did however mean transferring over to Transport for Wales once getting into Chester as getting a train directly to Landidno is not possible, totaling our time travelling at about 4 hours. Okay, whatever. Industrial action, even out here, you know? Yeah. One way! <laughs> we just arrived at Chester and uh, now we gotta wait 40 minutes for our next train to land. Did know, land not know. So, what you say we check out what's here? Alright, yeah, this is Chester, man. Oh shit, that's a video. Yeah, welcome yeah. to Chester, man. I guess we better head back and get that train. Quality content right here. Um, yeah, so that was Chester and it's fair to say in the small amount of time we had before our next train that it had no chance of leaving a memorable impression before our departure. And oh boy was this train jam packed full of people. The train only had three carriages so we were lucky we were even able to board especially with our luggage. Alright, made it to fucking where? A fun fact for you, did you know Landidno is the holiday destination of what could be perceived as the real life um, Alice in Wonderland yeah. uh, that the author based his book on. So um, that's why you see the Alice in Wonderland statues around here. Bags. Thank you. Man, that seaside view. That's incredible. Oh, I've dropped the glass already. Great. Got binoculars to curve on people. This is a great place to just sit, plot world domination. That essentially wrapped up our first day in Wales and after settling in we explored the local area, namely the Great Orm or Ogogarth as it's actually known, but I got no decent footage so moving swiftly on. Hey what's up guys, alright day 2 just woke up. Patty P in the house, let me hear you shout. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah! <laughs> Alright, time to head to Lambiris, but first breakfast, baby, please. And uh, head up there and climb that Snowdon thing. Look at that, I look aesthetic today, man. Looking good, man. I wonder if that's a good thing to so do. Hey man, not looking good. I've got that kind of baby here, but I've got that dog I'm shit. hungry, man. I don't wanna I'm eat hungry too. We got eat, man. We keep busy blogging or some shit about some shit, and now we go be hungry, man. Here we go. Starting the path. Absolutely stunning views already, yeah? Pretty easy puff 
to follow. You want to play Stardew Valley, man? Yeah, let's play Stardew Valley. I heard you can play it pretty well on your sick ass phone. Oh, Don't worry, man. We already have it in the kind of camp. You got the V-roll. It really sucks when the train is just running alongside. You guys want to give up? No. You, you can give up at any moment. Come on, hop I, aboard. I, I, I got to oh, hop aboard the train. Yeah. That does look pretty good. Let's see what these wankers do. Are they doing anything? Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Little update action. Got the beanie on. Got my ears getting cold. Don't want to get frostbite. Mm. How are your ears feeling? My ears are feeling frosty, dog. Mm, see? Wish I had a beanie to cover my hair oh. and my ears. So she don't bring wood. Then I don't bring a beanie or anything. <laughs> a little I'm past the halfway point. Mm. Lightweight, baby. Yeah, just a short climb, then we're out. Look at that peak right there. Mm. Just the tip. Just the tip Look of the, the valley. It's a long road through the night. Let's finish it. Alright, so it's very windy out here. Yes. Out here. Probably can't even hear us. I am very much enjoying this as my first ever hiking experience. And what a way to start it off, you know? Snowdonia, baby. Go on the big three. You want to jump off the cliff, man? Yeah, I'm going to jump Do off the cliff. Do it. Off the cliff. Yeah. Man, shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Alright, so, man. man. It's always interesting to see what these videos turn into. I never really know what to expect until I turn the camera on and review the footage. But as you can imagine, with the increasing altitude, the wind progressively picked up and cut the hell out of my mic. So I'll spare your eardrums of that. We were able to reach the summit of Snowdon or Urwiva in just under three hours using the Lambirius path, which is the most gradual incline of the six paths of pain. On the way down, we decided to take a different route known as the pig track, though I pronounce it pig and path later in the video. I don't know why. It is without a doubt a much harder path, so I'm glad to have not taken it on the way up, because the hardest part is right at the end, and I saw many people turn away just as the end was in sight, which must be devastating. But as we were going down, it wasn't too bad, but definitely had the potential of blowing your knees out. We were able to complete this path also under three hours. Go, we did it. Now at the bottom of Pig and Puff, took a nice trip down. Right, hello. Oh. How are you? Good. I am under the water. You are, man? I want to go home, man. Any uh, insightful words of wisdom? Those are some pretty nice sheep we got there, man. What? What do you mean? Well, that concludes it, man. Head back to Landidno. Waiting for that bus. And that pretty much wrapped up our day two. The following day it was time to go home and so we spent the remaining time exploring Landidno and the Conwy Castle before catching a train to Crewe this time, not Chester, where we would catch our final train back to London. Crewe didn't seem to have much going on aside from a rundown retail park and a Starbucks to conclude our journey. All in all, this was a lovely trip and I'm really glad to have finally visited Wales. The sights were lovely and so were the people and for the amount of money it cost, I can honestly say I will not be doing that again. Oh, it's a famous dining It's all you ever do, man. I see you had a good time, my guy. Yeah. Okay, now time to bump slowly. Ah, oh, fuck it. Look at that person run. Oh, yeah, what are you running from, huh? You're, you're failing marriage? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna make you in the video. That's not helpful, guys. <laughs> There's some shit that should stay between us. <laughs> 